All right, uh, in this introduction lesson, we're just going to look at definitions having to do with sequences and series because in this unit, we're going to be looking and using a variety of different formulas, uh, which you can see off to the side here. I'm not going to talk about them much, but just talk about what the different terms or different uh, variables that you're going to see, like T sub N, T1, um, and N, and D, and all that stuff means. Um, so here's kind of the definitions of things that are come up with uh, arithmetic sequences and series. Uh, first of all, when you see T1, what that means is the actual value uh, of the first term. Okay, uh, if you, when you see D, what that is, is just the common difference. So what is it going up by or down by? Uh, it's a common difference. Uh, TN is uh, the value of the general term, or in other words, the nth term. Uh, N is the number of terms. And finally, SN is the sum of the first n terms. So let me show you a few examples with this particular list of numbers 11, 8, 5, 2, negative 1, etc, etc. Uh, the first thing that I'll point out is that it's going down by threes. That would be a common difference. So the common difference in this one uh, would be, for example, negative 3 in this particular case. Uh, the value of the first term, or in other, t other words t1, uh, t1 is 11. So in this particular case uh, the first term would be 11. Uh, in addition to that, just a few other things that you might want to be aware of. If I looked at, for example, this number negative 1 here, that would be the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th term. So for that particular um, element or that particular number, n would be 5 because it's the 5th term, but we refer to it as term number 5 is equal to negative 1. So slight differences between them. Uh, so that's uh, some things that we'll be looking into in future lessons. Uh, having to do with geometric sequences and series, very similar. You'll see that a lot of them have the exact same thing. Uh, the, the only difference here that I might want to mention is, uh, first of all, that R, instead of having a common difference, uh, is a common ratio. Uh, and also uh, something new here is S with a, kind of looks like a sideways 8, that's actually the mathematical symbol for it. Infinity, uh, if you had S of infinity, what that is is the sum of infinite terms. So if it went on forever um, without stopping. Uh, so here's a number of the different formulas that we'll be dealing with in geometric sequences and series. As far as how this applies, again, just a number of applications here. 96 would be your first term, so uh, it would be considered T1. If you look at what the common ratio would be, the common ratio here would be uh, to go from one term to the next is 0 0.5. Then we're multiplying by 0 0.5 the whole time. So your common ratio would be 0 0.5 and just a few other things to deal with. Uh, this number 12 here, for 12, the actual number of the term, it's the fourth term in the, in the list, so n would be 4. And we would also be calling term 4, the value of that term, uh, would be 12. So that's just a variety of things that we'll be dealing with in this particular chapter moving forward.